Alright, welcome back everybody to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie! Before we continue on to the next level... Uh, let's see, last time we finished up the... Uh, the mansion level? Mad Monster Mansion. Uh, which is pretty cool, I really enjoy that level. And now we're going from one of my favorite levels in the game to one of my most hated levels in the game. First I'm gonna grab this... Uh, rogue Jigsaw piece. Floating around up here in Grunty's eye after we got the... Uh, the Gruntilda switch back in the mansion. So, that's that tin care. We only have two... Oh, boy. Uh, we only have two levels left to deal with. Uh, it, uh, this next one is my least favorite. The last one I really like, I, conceptually. I think it's a really cool idea. Um, it's a bit long and tedious, though. It, it's an enormous level. Anyway, so, um, last time we were... Um, poking around a little bit as the pumpkin, and I raised the water level. Uh, and I indicated that there were there, there were more water levels marked on the button, so there's potentially two more times that we can raise the water level. Uh, but we raised it once for now, and it will enable us to get to this area up here. More camera angles. Um, this is where, here, let's just go up these stairs. Um, this is going to be the next level, the store right here. But as you can see, we don't have it open yet. So we gotta actually find the painting before we can go in there. Then go put puzzle pieces in it and all that. Uh, and I forget exactly where we're supposed to go, so I'm... Oh. Cool, there's a shortcut here. I'm gonna make this a fair bit easier. Um, I forget exactly where I'm supposed to go to find this thing, so it's a little bit exploration-y at this point. Um, this looks destructible. Ah, well, here we go. Raise the water level yet again. Ah. Thank you, helpful, friendly camera, for showing us something of importance over there. Um, and then there's still, we can still raise it one more time. If I recall correctly, raising it one more time lets us get to, I think, the third Cheeto? What's this? Can we open that? Oh, can open that. Let's go this way. Let's see what we got in here. Aha! There we go. So this will open up the uh, second to last level. Rusty Bucket Bay. Um. Alright, and that's going to be pretty easy to get to. It's right where we just came from. I am going to keep exploring, though, because let's... we got to figure out what's going on over here. Although with the water level raised, this tunnel is underwater. Uh, and looks like... Nothing. It looks all closed off. I wonder if we can or will change that. Um, but that was the the room where the painting was for Mad Monster Mansion. Hmm. Um, I wonder if there's anything for us to do back in that area. Let's see. So there's the cauldron. Uh, there's still a uh, up there, kind of to the wall to the left, which is now the right. Um, there's another hole in the wall up there that we can maybe get into if the water level were raised again. Yeah. Um, I don't think we can get in there now. Um, so we have two places that we could potentially go check out. Or, well, two places that we can go check out that would potentially have something new or interesting for us. Um, one would be the Mad Monster Mansion painting room, which is where I'm going to head first. And then the other one would be back in the room with the mine, because there was a, a thing that we could climb upon back in there. Um, we couldn't reach it before because the water level was too low, but since we just raised it that second time, there might be something interesting up there. Just a piranha fish thing. Alright, so the Mad Monster Mansion painting is now completely submerged, which is interesting. Extra life. Um... Did that little jumping puzzle already. I mean, there's the... Hmm. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Ground? Yeah, we can. Nothing else on the ceiling. Uh, that's where we came in from. And that was the grate we were just on the other side of that's all closed off for us. So yeah, it looks like a... Not anything else that's interesting in here for us. Let's see if we can find our way out now. Here we go. Um, I guess I'm gonna go check out the other room with the... the mine that was floating there in the water. Just to see what else we can explore real quick. And then after that, it's uh, into the next level, Rusty Bucket Bay. Um, let's grab some air before we proceed. I forgot how, how much we've raised the water. We have to go pretty high up for air. Or oxygen. All right. <laughs> Through this pipe, we're back in that starting room. Jerk, mine's just going to be floating in the water. Oh, what's this up here? Alright, so let's we'll stop here and take a look. Oh boy, he's just right there, isn't he? Um, over there is the thing I was referring to that we can climb up. This is also interesting. Um, Alright, you know what? We'll just blow you up. Get you out of the way. Oh, cool. So we broke the grate there. Let's see what's in these. Anything? Just a uh, feather? And not even uh, anything on the other side either. Okay. Um, but we broke the grate here. Aha. Here's the third water level razor switch. I believe this one's on a timer. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it. And, uh... Get going there. It looked like a note door as well. So we gotta go find, you know, what is the fun thing that we can do now that we've raised the water level. And I pointed out there was a, a high ledge back in this other room here. I, assuming that that's our destination, since we did not have a whole heck of a lot of time. And I haven't seen anything else that uh, raising the water level would let us reach. There we go. Yep, and there's Cheeto. You can see his eyeballs. For the first time, we get to meet him as actual bird and bear. So our code, we have two codes before. Um, blue eggs, red feathers, and now gold feathers. Cool, so that's... I think that's all three of the codes. I don't think there are any more. And I don't think there's anything else for us to do back in that room there. So um, I will go enter those in eventually. But uh, for now, it's Rusty Bucket Bay time. I really just don't... Most of this level I don't like. There's some really horrible stuff. Has to do with the uh, the nasty, toxic water, and all that nonsense. Um, I believe we have a boss fight in here, though, so that's gonna be cool. All right, let's uh, let's go this way first. Yeah, it leads to a dead end. So there are these new enemies, these TNT boxes. They hop around and eventually blow themselves up. Uh, they're not too bad. I believe they hurt a whole heck of a lot. Like they take off multiple uh, honeycombs to hit you. Um, so there's, there's, we need to here, let's, let's do it this way. Kind of see it through the grate there, but perfect. That, that just a great great angle on that. Let's try it again. Nope. Get closer though. Uh, there's a Jinjo down there. There it is. Hello. Uh, so we're going to go down there and get that thing, and we're going to learn the nasty effect that the water has in this level. So we lose air much faster in here. Which means we can't be in here for very long. Uh, but more than that, we also lose air just from hanging out in the water here. 
so we don't recover our oxygen for uh, for coming to the surface. We actually have to be on land for a couple seconds before we get all of our oxygen back. So uh, yeah, the water here is just horrible. It's the worst thing ever. There we go. Um, I believe. Can we go inside this building? Maybe, maybe not. Looking to see, it doesn't look like we can. That's cool. Um, one of these, if not more, um, those sheds there we can hop into. Uh, there's like a fish thing stuck under the anchor there on the right. Down under the nasty oily water. Um, toll, too. Not quite a mouth, but uh, it is a gaping hole for us to shoot eggs into. We can grab that mumbo token and those feathers if we want to. I don't. They're not necessary, so I don't yes, it's a, this one you can see is open. So we can hop in there. Um, we can also, oh, there's a ginger all the way out there. Of course there is. Um, let's grab these music notes. And then there's like some toxic sludge over there. Okay, we're gonna go for Mr. Jinjo off in that corner there. Uh, this particular little fenced-in area here, in addition to the oily water, it has an old friend of ours. Yep, Mr. Shark. Oh, it was a total jerk. Yeah, this level is just kind of uh, the culmination of everything that's bad and evil in this game. Everything that I hate. Alright, we're gonna check out this little shed here while we're at it. I think... Oh, look at that, there's a piranha fish thing in there. Oh, horrible, horrible, horrible things. Alrighty. So that actually worked. God, I hate that eel. Are you serious? Oh man, I don't, I don't know how he didn't die right there, and how I, I guess I'm glad that he didn't knock me off. This is horrible. I mentioned how much I hate this level. It's it's a good level in that they were able to uh, just combine everything that I hate, but there are a few. There's just a few things about it that really suck. You'll you'll see the really, really bad parts later. I mean, right now, this is just a bunch of nasty monsters and things that we've encountered before. So it's not anything too crazy. Just kind of mixing all of the evil into one giant pot of stew. At least, the one thing this level does have going for it is that there are none of those goddamn snowmen in their stupid, devilish, dastardly ways. All right, we're gonna go help that fish eventually. Um, for now, I want to finish exploring the perimeter of the ship. Luckily, we did manage to kill this eel, so that's a little bit of extra life for us. Um, I'm gonna have to be. Oh, by the way, we can uh, we can break this window and drop down back into that same room that we were just in. Um, I don't- I think it just plops you on one of those wooden planks that was jutting out. I don't think there is any real benefit to doing that that way. Alright, let's see if we can not end up in the toxic sludge here. Alright, doing okay so far. Of course I missed it on my way out. Um, actually, I think we have to get out over here where the stairs are. I don't know that we can actually make... Nope, okay, maybe we can't make that jump. <laughs> anyway, another area survived and we never have to deal with it ever again. Let's pull up Mr. Dynamite Box here, please. I think we could also shoot eggs at them and kill them. Well, I'm not positive on that. All right, total of four eggs. It's not bad. 
and this one's not up against the wall, so, uh... Oh. Camera, what are you doing to me? Uh, shipping container's open, so yeah, what the hell, we'll check it out. Um, I hear... Uh, yeah, there we go, a honeycomb box. So, let's get a bunch of our health back. That seems like a splendid idea, doesn't it? Take out all these bees while we're at it. Make life a little bit easier for me while I'm exploring this area and getting all these music notes. Alright. I'm gonna head up here. Looks like we need to deal with some more of those stupid eels. Which means more health, which is awesome. That one in the shed that was giving me problems was horrible because he was just right on the, the ledge there and, uh, like, there was no good way to jump up onto the box and deal with the eel at the same time because it required a, a, like, a flappy jump or a long jump. Alright, check out the shipping crate as well. Okay, yeah, so you can just shoot three eggs to blow those guys up. That's actually much quicker. Boy, they are not too keen on uh, chasing after me or anything like that, are they? Huh. And we get an extra life for killing them all. So that's, uh, that's reassuring. All right, uh, there was the middle shipping container container over here, so, uh, check this guy out as well. I forget what's in this one. There's Jinjo. So that's cool, look at that, we've, uh... Oh boy. Only explored a little bit of the level, and we already have four of the five gin jokes. So that's actually pretty good. Um, don't know that there's anything else in here other than that Jinjo. That ladder is going to be our ticket out of here. I'm going to keep looking around just in the event that there is a Jiggy in here somewhere. I don't think there is. I think it's just the Jinjo. Oh, uh, there's a Mumbo token. Uh, and the Jinji was back there in that corner, so... Yeah, I think that's it. Let's... get the heck out of here. Can. And then this ladder is our way out. Cool, so... Uh, there's some eggs between the shipping containers. Don't really care about those. Um, we actually don't have a, a toll pipe. I don't know what that is exactly. Repository to get to the other side. You can see uh, toll six. That sign is over on the other side. So we'll uh, we'll have to finish exploring around the outside later. Now let's head back over to this big yellow contraption right here. Yeah, there's a jumpy pad here. So let's see. What fun things are up here for us? There's an up arrow. Now let's hit it. Ah, yes. Forgot about you. Uh, timed. Of course. So we gotta run over there and get that jigsaw piece before... thing lowers all the way again. I believe it lowers slowly, because they don't give you much time here. There we go. That lowers really slowly. Cool. So we are actually on the ship now. There we go. Yeah, close all the rest of the way. Uh, we're on the ship now, so uh, might as well explore this while we're here. Um, fun new enemy. These guys. They're horrible. Um, I don't think there's any way to kill them. I think even with invincibility... Yeah, it just knocks you away without you getting hurt. Uh, but some of these pipes, like this one, 
kind of a, a bit of a Scooby-Doo effect. You can tell the like the color differences and whatnot. These pipes. But uh, these guys, we can hop down. Hi. Oh boy. So yeah, it looks like we are in the kitchen. There's like some soup on the stove there. It's like somebody is a bit of a messy cooker. Um, stepping on the hot stoves that are glowing red, by the way, will in fact hurt us. And that applies to those as well, but eh, you know, I wanted the Mumbo token. And of course, Grunty's gonna make fun of me for stepping on that. So that's all, just some music notes and eggs and stuff you can get also. Come on. There we go. Let's see, life raft. Um, ah, the other thing is, uh, let's see if we can line it up here. Camera, you wanna play nice? You can kind of see it. There we go. Um, see how this window's popping out more than, like, say, everything else on the wall here? Um, that means we can break these windows and we can hop down them. So yeah, there's a lot of exploring to do on the ship here. Oh, and there's another one of those eggs that we're gonna pretend I'm not grabbing. Nope, nope, Banjo, don't say it. Nope, we didn't get anything. No stop and swap. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of funny. It isn't a cool joke, and we can use them this time. Uh, that's a reference to the N64 game. I'll talk about that when we get there. Cool, and with that, we got another puzzle piece. So, making a fair bit of progress through the level now. Um, there's another evil pipe? Yep. Don't like you. You a good one? You're a good one. We can go down this one. Let's see, what do we got in here? Camera, you want to show me what's actually going on in here? Oh, dang it, I was too close. Oh, well. Aha! Music notes up on that left platform. Oh. Geometry on the wall. Yep. Are you serious, game? I'm telling you, this level, just everything that you hate. Just, it's just everything. Just non-stop. It's all the worst things in the game. There we go. Alright, so all the music notes there. We're almost up to the halfway mark on music notes, which is great. Come on. There we go. Alright, uh, now we can... Here, you know what, I'll get these music notes on, uh, the gangplank here. Way up, a little entry. Ah, and we'll deal with a life preserver monster as well. Um, those things are... <laughs> they, they fart when they die. Uh, they are resistant to normal attacks. Like, rolling into them, I think, doesn't do anything. I think you actually have to peck them to death with Kazooie. Are you another? Yeah, you're textured. So we'll do this. Looks like the cruise cabin here. The bunk beds and everything. Uh, you can hop on them all. Look at this one up here. This one's funny. It's Conker. Conker's Bad Fur Day, also made by Rare. It's surprising that that was on a Nintendo console. Fantastic game. I recommend you check it out if you get the chance. Um, but yeah, you can you can look at their their beds and whatnot. There's another one of those goblin-y things up here. Oh, and a mumbo token. Oh, I'm glad I went up there. Uh, nothing else in there, just a couple music notes. So, um, let's see. There's some suspicious numbers there. Three, one, two, one, one, one. 
Don't bother remembering those. I'm sure there's no way that they will be important at all. Um, I'm actually going to explore... this... Oh boy. Um, explore the top level here. Before we move on to the other half of the ship. Uh, there is a ladder there, so we can climb the smokestack. I will do that in a moment. Ah, numbers. Hmm, how conveniently timed. Good, we haven't encountered any numbers that we should have remembered in the game. Um, I think there was... Oops, dang it. Uh, I think there is one more window. Yeah, we got one more that we can hop in here. And then we'll deal with those whistles. Ah, navigation room. Alright. Uh, looks like they're hunting for treasure. Remember the token. A couple of maps, got some, uh, some computers, some technology that I don't think Grunty's minions are intelligent enough to actually use. But you never know. Looks can be deceiving. Um, which of these did we come in? Yeah, most of these just have, like, notes and miscellaneous items, if you haven't noticed. There we go. Alright, we'll climb the smokestack in a moment. Let's deal with the whistles here real quick. I believe it was three. Yep. One. Two. One, one, one. Jigsaw piece. I think you can actually hear the whistles going off in the music in the background periodically. Um, like, I think it's that tune also that we just played. There. A couple of horns and a, uh, a whistle. Still kind of fun. Alright, so we're gonna check out these smokestacks now. Also, we got another ladder here. Anybody want to guess what's going to be at the top? Uh, and you get two guesses because there's going to be two smokestacks here. Do you have an eel? No, just you. Um, yeah, what the hell? We'll deal with this one first since we're here. Uh, Bumbo token! Hooray! Uh, now, what do we think is going to be at the top of the other one? Camera angle. Let's see. Hooray! Jigsaw piece! Everybody pretend to be surprised. Actually, let's see. And we can survey that last little bit of the level from up here that we didn't get to. Um, that's where our orange Jinjo is. And uh, another crane. And then uh, some eels. Yeah, that's cool. Also, that crane is holding a bunch of dynamite. And also, also, that looks like, uh, found our Gruntilda switch over there. Alright, let's go over here and play with the fun dynamite box. Um, actually, you know what? Before we deal with the dynamite box, we're going to head back over to the crane. I think we have to deal with the crane anyway. Um... Oh. Didn't hit the jump button soon enough. That was horrible. I'll grab this mumbo token now. But for being a level that doesn't have mumbo jumbo, it's sure throwing these mumbo tokens at us like crazy. Um, you know what? What the heck? We'll we'll deal with the. Uh... And see that there's another one in that life raft there. Grab all these notes here, and then yeah, see Scooby Doo effect. You can tell which one of the. Uh, the two pipes there is going to come to life and start moving. It kind of stands out a little more than the other one. Is there a thing up here? Oh, Rare, you and your pride. I, I love that they put their logo on just all sorts of stuff in their games. It's, yeah, I think that's awesome. Alright. 
Oh no. Well, good thing we came in here first. You gotta hit that switch. Notice how it kind of slowed down the fans. They're gonna slow down and speed up again. They they run in cycles. Yep, that is probably my least favorite part of the entire game. That whole platforming monster in there. We'll get there soon enough. The rest of the level, I'm fine with. I can handle it. It's just that one room is the worst thing ever. All right, let's try to get to that grunty switch again. If we can. Oh, come on, don't grab that. Jump, no, there we go. Alright, grunty switch, go! Let's see if we can make the jump this time. There we go. Ooh, just barely. Cool, that's actually not that difficult for us to reach. Um, and then from here, I think we can just jump back over to the TNT. Yeah, again, just barely. Alright, so let's go drop some eggs into those two, uh... Well, here, you know what? We'll just do everything here. Um, hit the switch. Which just drops the dynamite. Cool, so now we can get into the cargo hold. We got something pretty cool awaiting us in there. I have no intention of coming back this way, but... You never know what's going to happen, so I will go ahead and open up that. Just in the event that we do need that passageway again. Uh, and then this one takes eight eggs. I believe this one's super twisty and turny, and I believe it's time. It only gives us like... Nope. Not timed, I guess. I thought one of them was timed. I guess I'm mistaken. <laughs> That's all five of the Jinjos. Already taken down. Alright, now we got a couple of things that we can do here. We gotta go explore the cargo hold. Um, there's the propellers down there. There's a jiggy behind those, so we gotta find a way to slow them down back inside. And when we go back into the... Um, the guts of the ship, the engineering area. When we go deal with that nasty platforming challenge, you'll see why I hate it so much. Um, and it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm horrible at platforming, so shut up, everybody. No, so um, we can do that. We can also go back over and deal with uh, the fish who's trapped under the anchor. I think I'm going to go into the cargo hold area that we just blew open first, and then we'll go deal with the anchor fish. And this is actually super fun. Oh, boss. Boss Boombox. At least he acknowledges that he is a boss. Uh, now, there's a couple ways you can deal with this boss. You can do what the game is kind of hinting at you and uh, pepper him with eggs. Shoot him with a whole bunch of eggs and eventually... There we go, he'll split into smaller boxes. Hooray! Um, or you can just as easily turn invincible and smash up all of his little boxes, and they keep getting smaller and smaller. Um, personally, I think this makes the fight <laughs> much more trivial. Just blowing through him with the gold feathers like that. Cool, so seven. Only three more to go. 
Um, we still have not encountered either of the two hollowed out honeycomb pieces, though, and I kind of forget where they're at in this level. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for those. Hmm. So I have a hunch, a thought, less of a hunch, more of a, a thought, an open question. Um, while we're at it, we'll go ahead and uh, this one right here, I, I think it's the only one we can hit it with a bunch more eggs. There we go. And uh, now we can get the Mumbo token and the two gold feathers. And I am low on the gold feathers after that boss fight. If that's what we want to call it. Uh, wasn't really much of a fight. It was just kind of me obliterating him. So I will grab those. But we're going to check out what's inside here real quick. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. It just drops you uh, right here on the ledge. I'm going to look around the... Stupid inverted camera. So there's an extra life up there. I'm pretty sure you can get into one of these sheds and it has the uh, a golden honeycomb piece in there. Uh, anyway. Oops. So there's a fish. He's trapped under the anchor. We're going to just go deal with the anchor real quick and save him. I think if you go down there, you can talk to him. He'll be like, help me, I'm stuck. It's like, well, yeah. Really? It's kind of obvious. It's about how the conversation goes. Also, I just remembered where one of the uh, honeycomb pieces is. And it's not the one I was talking about earlier. Alright. Come on. These sailor goblin guys, um, they take multiple hits if you roll into them. Like so. Uh, but if you hit them with Kazooie's beak, with like the jumping peck attack, as I've been doing, uh, it takes about one hit. Her attack is just so much stronger. I mean, Kazooie is really the better character here. Just kind of awkwardly drag the hammer through the geometry of that fish. So that's what? Number eight for us, I think? <laughs> Which means maybe I don't know where the last one is. Because I know this one, be uh, yeah, back behind the propellers over on the bottom side of the ship. Well, I do know of one more place that we haven't been yet, so we'll go check that out real quick. We gotta hop back up to the smokestacks here. There we go. So there's a door on the smokestack. On this one, at least. And this takes us to somewhere interesting and important. Um, so there's a, a gap above the door there. Let's see. I'm gonna land in. Oops, or not land in. There we go, we'll jump into it, though. Right, so there's one of the honeycomb pieces. That was the one that I remembered. And then here's the worst part of the entire game. I don't really think it's that it's the worst in the whole game, but I just... Like, I have all these memories of not being able to get past this part as a child. Oh boy. Sent him flying, that was kind of cool. Alright. Um, we're gonna wait for the next cycle, then I'm gonna go after these music notes. So I gotta go. Uh, that's the other problem with this place is to get all 100 music notes, which I have to do because I'm a completionist. Uh, you have to go visit all these different corners. Like, you can't avoid most of the platform. Like, that mumbo token up there on the right, really just don't care about it. It's, it's optional. Doesn't matter in the least. Not gonna use it. So we can just ignore that, but oh, it's, it's these music notes. Alright, so that will slow down the propellers, but they are still moving fast enough to murder us. Oh, so there is a jigsaw piece just in here. That's interesting. Whew, glad I timed that right. 
Oh, that's the other problem, is if you miss any of your jumps or anything, you get hit by the propellers, they just launch you down into the abyss and you die, like, straight up. And on the N64 version, um, you'd lose all your progress. You'd lose all your notes you'd collected. You'd lose everything. So the fact that you have to do all this platform to get to the notes, and then the fact that it's so easy to just lose all of that progress, oh, horrible, horrible, horrible. Don't have that problem with the Xbox, though. Um... Thank goodness our progress stays. I shouldn't have hit that yet. Oh, I also probably should hit that one first, not second. Dang it. Ah, well, and that's what I was talking about. Hooray! Ah. Well, here we go again. Sometimes I hate this game. Just this level, actually. I, just, I really don't like this level. It's the worst thing ever. On all these. Oh no, wait, this isn't the one that had the eels. Yeah, so, uh, in case you missed it in my very brief moment, uh, before I died... Are you... No, oh, this game. I hate this game. Uh, I don't hate this game. I love this game. I hate this level. I hate this room. This part of the level. Don't like it. Um, anyway, when I hit both of those two switches that slow down the, uh, the propellers in the back of the ship... Um, the second one that you hit starts a timer. You have, like, what, 70 seconds or whatever that said? To, um, to make it back out and get to those propellers and grab that jigsaw piece before the propellers start up again and you have to do this all over again. Um, this one is the tougher of the two to climb, so we'll do this button first. And then we're gonna do that other button second, so that we have an easier time of getting out of this room and getting back to the propellers. Also gonna grab some eggs, because I'm running a bit low on them. Not super low, still have plenty, but uh... Come on, slow down, fan. Oh, That's right. <laughs> Uh, we didn't hit the button in the room right there to slow down the fans since I died. That's the other thing that makes this the worst platforming sequence ever. Um, luckily, these spinny pipes and things always operate the same. Like, they will always slow down and stop and give you just a brief amount of time to make it across. Uh, it's just the spinny fan blades that don't slow down unless you hit that button, I guess. I think these spin less often if you've hit the button, but you still have enough time to make it across. All right, let's try this again. And we gotta go find that last honeycomb piece. Please don't spin while I'm standing on you. Ooh. use Kazooie because she's a little bit quicker. And I also got to make sure that I'm headed the right way to get to the actual uh, back of the ship. I have no sense of direction whatsoever. This way. Yeah, you do not have much time to do this and get this jigsaw piece. And, of course, I went the wrong way. <laughs> uh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Um, well, I think I may have remembered where our final... Uh, what's it called? Honeycomb pieces. I think... If you get here in the shark water... Knock it off, shark man. Um, I think we need to go in here. Here we go. 
this is what I was recalling, being able to get into one of these, uh, one of these rooms. Or one of these sheds, I guess. So there's a flight pad in this tiny little shed. Uh, and we'll be using it in just a moment here, I guess. We gotta start at this side. I hit the switch first. And I don't think we're timed on this, thank goodness. Timed on everything else we're gonna do in this dumb level. These eels are just complete jerks. Um, I think it's too high up for us to be able to reach with, like, an actual jump. Yeah, definitely is. There we go. Now we gotta figure out how to get out of here. Grab a couple of these feathers again before we take off. Get my bearings and uh <sighs> let's see if we can do this thing. Is that our last uh jigsaw piece for here? It is, that's our last one. Okay. Good grief. Go away, shark. Back up, banjo. Please. All right, now let's just not die. Okay, get those switches again. Um, this time I'll get my bearings and make sure we're going the right way before we actually leave. Or before we even go in there. So I need to go to the, this side over here. Or no, that's the front. That's where I went last time. We're just gonna double check real quick. Yeah, this side has the flag. So that's where we need to go. Alright, YouTube, it's your job to make sure I'm going the right way. Don't let me head towards the front of the ship again. You have to go past the shipping containers there. We'll go do this button again first. Come on. <laughs> oh man, I got a little impatient and greedy there and it almost cost me. Holy cow. I almost rolled it right off into the abyss. Oh, no, 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 no! Freaking kidding me. Oh, what? Okay, that's better. Uh, just the geometry of that stupid thing slid me off. Well, this is gonna be miserable. Slash is miserable already. Alright, we'll give it one more shot, and if I don't get it this time, um, I'm gonna end the video and we'll have to pick up here. And... yeah. Uh, again, here's for like a millionth time. Pirate man there, or get killed by him again for like the millionth time. We'll go across with Kazooie so that she doesn't slide as much. We'll just wait for the next cycle on this one. Uh, the good news is we can make it here fairly easily each time, and there's gonna be an extra life every time we die. For whatever weird reason, those respawn every time in the game. So, you know, we're in no real danger of getting a game over or anything 
silly like that, but uh, still irritating. Still minutes of our lives that we will never ever get back. Horrible flashbacks of my childhood as I tried this over and over and over again. There we go. Now I do believe these things, uh, these spinny pipes here, do stop spinning completely once we hit the second switch. So during that like 70 second window or whatever it is that we have, um, we don't have to worry about those pipes. We do still have to worry about these spinning platforms. Of course. Yeah. All right, I think I timed that right, so we'll just get a straight shot across as soon as this. There we go. Go with Kazooie. Maybe move a little bit quicker. Oh! Boy, that was almost really bad. Oh, have I mentioned how much I hate the camera in this game? All things considered, I've seen worse cameras in uh, 3D collectathon platformers on the N64. And, uh, the, like, the PS1. That whole era. Eh, camera mechanics in 3D games were kind of new at the time. Alright, go, 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 go! So I got 20 seconds, so I think we're good. As long as Banjo doesn't do anything stupid like that. There we go. Now I don't really care if we die. Stupid level. Go to hell. Done with you, Rusty Bucket Bay. Alright, uh, I'm gonna end the video here, because it's been running a bit long, and next time we go track down and visit the next level. I'll see you there.